If you haven't started planting your spring garden, you need to do it now. It's the perfect time. The first thing you're going to need to do is a little bit of prep work. Face it, when it comes to gardening and landscaping, there's always a little bit of work involved and usually a lot of weeds. You want to get in there and pull all of the weeds by hand. Be careful using any type of weed killer around your vegetable plot. Once you've got all the weeds pulled up, till the earth, move it around and amend the soil. You can use soil from a compost bin if you have one, uh, or you can amend it, but if you're trying to do an organic vegetable garden, be careful using certain types of potting mixes because they might have a starter fertilizer in it and it won't be truly organic. You can see I've got this all tilled up, it's grubbed out, and it is ready to plant. So once you've got your garden prepped, you need to sit down and really think it out. Don't be afraid to make a list, do a little sketch, whatever you got to do to figure it out. Think about how much space you have, what you want to grow, and how much of it you want to grow. Once you've got that nailed, you can start planting. And you have two options. You can either start from seed, which is usually a little bit less expensive, but it takes a little bit more time, or you can go right to the nursery and buy plants that have already sprouted. This is some romaine lettuce that we're going to plant. And I haven't actually planted this yet because I got to check the freeze date. You know, if I plant it now, I might be rolling the dice. If there's another freeze, I could lose it. It's just one of those things that you got to take into consideration when starting your early spring garden. So I've actually made a list of what we're going to plant this year, and we've got a lot that's going into this garden. Strawberries, asparagus, red cabbage, onions, leeks, rosemary, sage, pole beans. I've got a lot of trellis space, and if you're going to do pole beans, you need a little bit of trellis space. We're going to do lots of tomatoes, okra, zucchini, peppers, this garden is going to be glorious, so I want you guys to come back and check it out.